In this demonstration I'd like to show you how I've set up my camera for manual focus and also back button AF or back button autofocus. Okay, now um, I'll show you the custom settings that I put onto my buttons in a short while, but I just thought I'd show you um, the, uh, the focus settings in operation. If I press the C1 on the top of the camera, this is going to allow me to scroll um, and move around that focus point to a position that I precisely want to focus on. Now typically now we could half press the shutter release, but what I've done is I've disengaged the shutter release uh, from a focusing mechanism. I am now going to press the AEL center button in order to snap focus. Okay, and that is called back button AF, where you disengage the shutter release from the action of also focusing the camera. This is very popular amongst photographic enthusiasts. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at uh, how we can uh, use uh, a manual focus. We'll just put the AF, MF, AEL button in the up position. And now if I press the center button once, it will disengage the autofocus completely and go into manual focus. And you can see there I've got focus peaking switched on as well. Now if I press the C1 button again, this is going to allow me to zoom in. And again, I can roll that focus point around the screen. Okay, if I press the C1 button a second time or even a third time, I'm going to be able to uh, get critical focus on that insignia using the focus peaking and magnify focus feature and press the C1 a third time and we'll come back out. And now I can uh, take the picture um, using critical manual focus like so. Okay, and any time I want to uh, switch back to back button AF, I just simply press that center button on the AF MF button once. Okay, put it into the down position and uh, again, now I can just press that center button uh, on the AFMF AEL button and that will get uh, um, autofocus back button AF back into operation. Okay, so let's uh, dive into the menus and see how I've set this camera up. Okay, so let's just, uh, we'll move up to the uh, top menu and we'll come over to uh, the little gear menu, the custom settings there. Okay, now you'll see I've got uh, MF Assist uh, switched to off. Okay, um, the focus magnifier time, I prefer to use no limit rather than having to try and find focus in a set amount of time. Okay, now uh, I also typically have auto review switched off. If I don't want to review every picture that I've taken, I can always press the review button later. That's moving along. Okay, uh, you can see there I've got my peaking level. I switch it to mid, sometimes I'll switch it to high uh, and sometimes low depending on what I'm doing. My favorite peaking color is red. And you'll also notice down at the bottom there, I've got pre-AF switched off. Okay, now that's quite important. Okay, so now we'll move along and uh, look at some of the other settings. Now this is where we disengage the, um, the shutter release from focusing the camera. You'll see in that top uh, active menu there, the AF with shutter is switched to the off position. Okay. Now that's about uh, all of the settings that we have in the custom settings. So what I'm going to do is move over now um, to how I've set that up using uh, my custom buttons. So for that we need to go into the custom key settings. And uh, you'll see um, this is not, not actually related to this, but I've actually disabled um, the, uh, the scroll or control wheel uh, to uh, not set. I don't want it adjusting ISO accidentally. Now you'll see I've got the AEL button reprogrammed to AF on, and that's how I was achieving the back button AF there. Now also on the AM, AF, MF button, Typically, by default, it will be in the control hold position, but uh, you'll need to change it to the control toggle. This actually just requires a single press of the button in order to switch from autofocus to manual focus. Okay, and uh, typically I also have the, uh, uh, the center button. Let's just come out of this one. Uh, if we move over to the center button, uh, usually by default, uh, IAF is also very useful when we switch over into um, back button AF because we can still uh, use the center button for locking on that. 
Okay, now just another couple of the settings you'll see on the C2 button. Now you can set back button um, up into AFS. This will allow you to continue to use IAF if you want to snap focus on an eye. Alternatively, if you just want to uh, follow that focus, you can use the back button um, AF in AFC mode. Okay. Uh, but if you do use the AFC, um, that will um, preclude you from actually using the IAF at any time. Okay, so that's a, a, be, a basic overview how one, I use uh, manual focus set up on this A7 camera, but also how I can use back button AF as well with just a, a few uh, clicks of the buttons.